Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 Year after year, we watched the threat steadily increase. And now, this winter has been the worst on record when it comes to our immune systems and health. For more than two years, InfoWarsLife.com has been watching this crisis intensify, and Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Complex was our answer. Using a proprietary process that takes ancient proven herbs and combines them with modern science, this powerful and affordable formula contains more than 14 key herbs and extracts, including Echinacea, ginger root, elderberry, golden seal root, a proprietary yin chio formula, and many, many more. I take it, and so does my family. It's made in the USA, gluten-free, alcohol-free, no artificial flavors or colors, and not tested on animals. Take advantage of this introductory offer for ancient defense, normally $19.95, now only $14.95. That's 25% off. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139 to secure your ancient defense. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots Engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You've got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Waging war. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones. It's the time of the season. When love runs high. Aaron Katusa wrote this book just a few months ago. It's just now coming out. David Knight thinks it's one of the best he's ever read. That's why the copy I've got's got a whole bunch of notes in it. The Colder War. I haven't read it yet. I've scanned over it. He's the head of uh, Casey Research, uh, energy strategist. And I really look forward to having him on. Colderwar.com, CaseyResearch.com. Uh, Marin Katusha is going to be joining us here in just a minute or so. Then we'll continue with a host of news I haven't gotten to yet. Forced inoculations being pushed. Some special reports in the next hour. Uh, briefly, we have January specials that are going to end. It's obviously February 2nd now on this Monday edition. Um, usually takes us, as you know, a few days to get specials down. I came in today and I said, yeah, I intended to run that for a few extra days. Take it down tomorrow night. So if you want to get free shipping on all the water filtration systems, plus 10% off the promo code WATER, uh, take advantage of getting your ProPure G2 gravity fed stainless steel systems. They annihilate the side by side comparisons in the studies. They annihilate in the video taste test we've got done downtown Austin. Uh, they're just really high quality. We also have the clearly filtered systems that are excellent as well. 
uh, but are even more affordable, InfoWarsStore.com. Promo code WATER to get 10% off. We always have that special. But uh, you get free shipping right now. That is a huge value when it's a water filtration system. Very easy to use. Takes a few minutes to put together. And you can be drinking really high-quality uh, purified water that side-by-side -side annihilates the competition. So InfoWarsStore.com. Also, you can get roughly 45% off a yearly membership right now. Instead of five ninety-five a month, it's um, basically half of that. It comes down to 12 cents a day per person because 20 people can use each membership. It's normally $54.95. It's $29.95 right now. That's $2.50 a month per membership uh, instead of $5.95 a month. And you can have 20 people use it. That's 12 cents per person per month. Uh, please become a PrisonPlanet.tv member today because we won't have this special uh, again until next Christmas into January. PrisonPlanet.tv. want to thank all of you that are PrisonPlanet.tv uh, nightly news subscribers. You're funding so much of what we're able to do here every day. That's about to end. There's a bunch of other specials at InfoWarsLife.com. It will end tomorrow. We're going to keep the special going while supplies last of two bottles of nascent iodine X2, the highest quality out there, the good halogen, what it's done for me and others. You've heard the rave reviews. It's just amazing. With a free bottle of Ancient Defense when you get two bottles of Survival Shield nascent iodine at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. And we're not like MSNBC, as I've said a thousand times, that gets stimulus money to then push anti-free market, anti-gun garbage. Uh, we're not like NPR that gets 400 plus million dollars a year and, and then sits there and you know, spews all this anti-family garbage. We fund ourselves with sponsorship and high quality products we sell. Let me give you a little secret. The truck made in the USA, all of it, the fabric, the printing, everything on the long sleeve, Molon Labe, modern camouflage pattern is about to come in. We're going to put it back on the shopping cart in the next hour. This time we did a triple size order. It still sold out the last time we did in a matter of days in the extra larges and XX larges. It's a super handsome shirt. People love it. And I just told them, well, the truck's coming. Go ahead and put it up for sale. It's going to go up for sale at InfoWarsStore.com in the Made in 1776 Made in America section. Uh, so the Special Forces uh, style Molon Labe, Infowars.com on the back, American flag on the arm. These are really popular. They look great. This is the most popular shirt I've ever worn in public. People love it. Uh, and it does sell out very quickly, except in like small for some reason. We have more of them almost here uh, from the factory on the East Coast. So the truck's a day away. You can start ordering InfoWarsStore.com right now. And that purchase, again, funds the operation. So we thank you all for your support. Joining us is Marin Katusa, Chief Energy Strategist, KC Research. He was a mathematics professor before he left academics to apply his models to portfolio management. Uh, he's a sought-after portfolio manager and a sought-after speaker, uh, CNBC, RT, CBC, writes for the Business Network News. Uh, and he also is the founding director of Copper Mountain, Canada's third largest copper mine. And he's chief energy strategist for KC Research. Uh, over the years, Martin has been involved in raising over $1 billion in capital for early stages and producing resource companies. So he is a true trailblazing entrepreneur. Uh, colderwar.com uh, to break down his book. Uh, sir, thank you for coming on today. Uh, I want to get into Russia, the inside baseball, where energy policy is going, what's happening with the oil war. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Well, you've got the floor. Start, start breaking down where we are right now from an inside perspective. Alex, it's very scary. What the West, America, the European Union, they're starting to play Russian roulette. And Putin is not backing down. He's putting more forces to eastern Ukraine. And now Obama's leaked some um, documents stating that the Americans may supply lethal artillery and weapons and manpower. So more boots, more American boots, more American uh, weaponry in Ukraine. Uh, you don't want to put more sanctions on Russia because now Greece has vetoed these. But more importantly, the existing sanctions have pushed Russia and China 
closer together than ever before. They're doing hundreds of billions of dollars worth of deals, the largest construction project in the world. And all this is doing is uniting the Russian bear and the Chinese dragon, and that is the worst possible outcome for America and the West. It's a very bold strategy to send in CIA commandos and others to be engaging the Russians in combat the last six months. That's basically admitted $5 billion to overthrow the Ukrainian government. I'm not, again, I don't have a dog in the fight here. It's just clear the West is instituting and instigating all this. Sure, they're hurting Russia right now, driving down the price of oil, but long term, this is a really dangerous game. What do you think the Western powers are thinking? Well, it's all about the NATO expansion. It's trying to expand Europe, uh, the European Union. The EU is broke. Uh, you know, Greece now, a, a real insignificant country when you look on the global scale and by no means as a superpower, is now dictating the terms of the sanctions against Russia. So you can see the European Union is a basket case. And, you know, America is now being drawn into this because of the EU, and there really is nothing here positive for the average American here. The Ukraine conflict's getting worse. It's going to get worse. Uh, it's going to last longer, and it's just going to be a drain on the U.S. economy. Well, when the West attacked uh, Russian-held areas in Georgia, uh, they miscalculated and the Russians poured in and threatened nuclear war in Europe. I mean, if Russia's not backing down and the West isn't backing down, what are the policymakers thinking? It's not like Russia's on our southern border attacking us. We're attacking them. Exactly. And the worst part of this, now you look at the Russian population within the eastern Ukraine. They, this is a secession war. This is not a civil war. And they want to join Russia. Look at Crimea. Putin has now hinted that because Crimea is now part of Russia, they have the sovereign right to move their nuclear weapons to Crimea. Yeah, which is just on the edge of Europe. So there's a lot of risks here. And the difference is the Russian people are solely behind the Slavic warrior Putin. They defend what Putin is doing. They are proud of what Putin is doing because they see him standing up against the West. The question I have is Obama's got two years left. What is the future foreign policy here? If the new president continues this failed foreign policy, it's just going to be a lot worse for Europe and the U.S. And the Russians here have nothing to lose. They have an expansionary program and they're fit to fight and they are plan on fighting. They're not going to back down. So the question is, is what's the West going to do now? Well, they just push and push and push because the people running the West are not Americans like like a John Wayne or a Ronald Reagan. Uh, they want to export George Soros tyranny back to Russia. They want socialism for the general public and their own crony system above it, controlling it. Uh, and they're turning Al Qaeda loose all over the Middle East. What do you see in the grand strategy worldwide happening right now? What's the grand strategy? What's happening with the driving down oil prices? Uh, break down your book for us, The Colder War, how the global energy trade slipped from America's grasp. Alex, you're nailing all the most important parts here. You know, I find it shocking that Obama and his wife go to Saudi Arabia and King Salman, the new king of Saudi Arabia. In our book, we have a chapter called The Shaky House Assad. How come no one's really talking about the truth of who King Salman? He was funding the uh, Afghani extremists that the Americans were fighting. He was fighting. Uh, he was funding the Bosnian Muslim extremists that the West fought against. This is chaos, and now they're trying to show him as a great leader, as a moderate. That is all false. If you look into the past of King Salman, he was the financier. He was the point man for all of the funding of what today is ISIS. ISIS is getting stronger. Obama came out today and said, hey, let's relax. You know, ISIS is not that big of a deal. Really? Ask the Japanese uh, if ISIS is a big deal or not. ISIS is getting stronger. Uh, the Saudi Arabia, there's very vulnerable here. The price of oil is collapsing the Bakken, the Eagleford, hundreds of billions of dollars of debt. We haven't even seen the debt roll over in the U.S. There's a lot of risk. And the debt that is potentially to blow up in the U.S. shale sector could be greater than what happened to the Lehman Brothers. This is a huge risk. And at the same time, they're trying to distract things with Ukraine. Ukraine is really an insignificant, what, what does EU get? It's the breadbasket of Eastern Europe. There's not much going on there other than major debt. The Ukraine owes over 18 billion to Russia. So there's a lot of problems. I see worse uh, controversy, more uh, death, more wars, more battles in the Middle East. I see uh, Eastern Europe getting worse. And more importantly, the emerging markets are working together supporting Putin. Look what China is doing against the Western philosophy. So there really is a battle between the old world order and the new world order. And right now it's the new world order that is winning. So when you say new world order, you mean the people that run the U.S., England, Europe, uh, you're saying they're winning? 
No, actually, if you look at what's going on with China, they are backing the Russians. So you're saying that